Bzzz, Beehive, we are back. Let's go. Shout out to my guy, Denzel. You sent me this request on Instagram. It's uh, Beyonce one plus one rehearsal. But my guy, Denzel, is telling me, yo, bro, this might be even better than that actual performance. So I'm going to check it out for myself. Let's see what the queen is like behind the scenes. Damn, just some keys and one background singer and then just the fact that it's in this room that might not have the best acoustics. This is her warming up. Are you kidding me? Her tones are just magical. They're insane. They're insane. <laughs> Sing it, baby. Wow. If I'm one of the background singers, I don't know how I wouldn't just get mesmerized by her singing right there in front of me. I'd be like, oh, wait, can we run that back around, please? I missed my line. But damn, dude. Seriously, how? How is this possible? Nothing there. Nothing there. It's just her singing straight from the heart before a big show. Sounding great. You hear the growls. You hear all the tones. No back, no no real like backup vocals to her besides the singer, the the choir or whatever that is, and then the keys. It's this is beautiful. Got you, baby. When the world's at a war, I'll never let you go. <laughs> These women right here, they just said it over the top. I love their tones as well. It makes it just feel like that. It's like a hallelujah. It's like a just like a, a church choir kind of tone to it, and I love it. Fantastic, so much flavor. They're clapping too.
Damn, y'all, the dedication it takes to do this. She's putting on a show for her family and friends before the show even happens. I know it's a warm-up, but that sounded fantastic. That sounded like, again, her just talent is mind-blowing. I'm blown away every single time. I could listen to her all day, every day. Someone commented on one of my videos the other day asking me who's my favorite female vocalist of all time, and I couldn't, I had, I had to give them... Beyonce and Whitney Houston. There's n there's there's no one else besides those two in the top of my mind, like throughout my entire life at least, that I've listened to more than those two. And they are the pinnacle of vocalists in my opinion. Now, that doesn't take away anything from Aretha Franklin and uh, Mariah Carey and even, even someone newer like Ariana Grande and Adele. Of course, you gotta throw Adele in there too, but Beyonce, baby? Everything about her, there's so much character to her voice that some other artists may not have. Other artists can hit the power notes, they can hit the low notes and whatnot, but can you make someone feel the way Beyonce makes someone feel? Like, she makes me feel so good from listening to this. Like, she makes me just want to fall in love with somebody and hold them in my arms, kiss them tight, never let them go. I mean, she's when she says stuff like, pull me closer, damn, I just can't help but wish I was Jay-Z for a minute, for real. Um, but, f wow, just flawless again. She's so damn good. I just, it leaves me, it leaves me, like, rambling. It leaves me, like, flabbergasted every time I listen to another live performance of hers. Every time I listen to something new of hers that I haven't heard, I'm just, like, blown away every single time. So... Denzel, you're the man. Thank you so much for uh, sending that to me on, on Instagram. I mean, this was great. I can't imagine what some of the other songs that I even know more than this would, would feel like to me, would resonate to me. Like, if I heard Resentment, if I heard her, her rehearsing Resentment, I would probably shed a tear. I'd probably shed a tear. Because 1 plus 1, I know it a little bit. I've heard it a few times. But Resentment, I've heard a little bit more... Um, shit, all night, if, if all night was, was rehearsed in the back, like here, even though I just kind of discovered that from watching the Lemonade film, shout out to you, Dan, um, for that live performance as well, but, ah, I would just, I think I would lose it probably, because it's so beautiful, it's so raw, there's nothing added, no, no, um, what's it called, auto-tune, no, no, uh, mic backing, or whatever it's called, vocal backing, um, it's just a, it's just her in this room with pretty good with pretty good acoustics, a speaker, a keyboard, and three backup singers. And I would take it over a thousand other artists any day. Their me their live music or their their album music. She she is a straight up icon. It's crazy.